Hey guys, what's up? Uh, before we start the many-to-many -many relationship design, I wanted to talk about parent-child relationships. So we have, uh, when we design these relationships, a table is always the parent, and a table is always the child. And uh, when we're talking about keys, keys keep things unique, and they always, they're, they're used to connect tables that are related. So every t table has a key that keeps it unique. When we create a foreign key, it references that primary key in another table. So the primary key is the parent. The foreign key is the child. The child points back to the parent. It inherits the values from the parent. For example, uh, the parent's ID is 86, then the foreign key pointing back to the parent is 86. It's the child. So in a one in a one-to-one -one relationship where we just store everything in one table, which is the most practical way to do things, we don't have to worry about primary keys or foreign keys. We just have one table and that's all we have. Then we have columns within this table. So we have the user ID, the password, the username, the, the whatever else. All those are just columns within a table. We don't have to worry about a parent or a child because we're not making any relationships across multiple tables. But when we get to one to many, that's when we have this table pointing, or it has uh, many children. So you would say, this is the one side, it's the parent. Then we have each of the parent's children. These all point back to the parent with a foreign key. So if you think of like comments on a YouTube video, every comment has a poster or a, a user account of a person who clicked post a comment. That means that the commenter is the parent and the comment is the child. Another way to think about that is if you, if you were given a comment on YouTube, you can figure out who posted that comment. That's because the child always points back to the parent. Now, if you look at a user account on YouTube, such as Caleb the Video Maker 2, awesome channel, check it out and be sure to subscribe. Well, you don't necessarily know every single comment that that parent has given. There might be a feed in there that says recent comments, but when we look at the child, we always know the parent because it inherits the values but the parent doesn't inherit anything from the child. Think of like in real life, you can see a married couple and you don't know if they have children or not. But if you see a little baby, we think, all right, they ha that, that baby has a parent or parents. That's the similar idea with database design. Think of this wall here between the parent and the children. The children inherit values from the parent, such as the foreign key, 87, that tells us who the parent is. That is important. I know it seems like, okay, who really cares who's the parent or child? Just get on with the database design, you noob. Oh, I'm gonna unsubscribe. Well, this is important, because when we get to understanding how to design each relationship, we need to understand where we put the foreign key. Which table does the foreign key go into? That is decided by the child, because the child always has the foreign key that points back to the primary key. So, user ID, primary key. User ID, foreign key. Points back to the primary key, user ID. So foreign keys always go in the children, primary keys go in the parent. When it comes to many-to-many to many relationships, 
We have problems with parent-child relationships, and that is why we can't store many-to-many -many relationships in a database. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next video when we talk about many-to-many -many relationships specifically. But just know that when we have an entity, think I want you to think of whether or not it would have a parent. A lot of the times it would, but other times not so much. But if you think of think of an order for a store, an order needs a parent because an order is when you buy product. Who is buying it? Someone has to buy it. Otherwise, it wouldn't it wouldn't exist. The child would not exist without the order. So let's let's relook at this. This is the u the user, and this is the orders. We can't have a child without a parent. Logically, it just doesn't make sense. So if there is no parent of the order, the order cannot exist. We need to keep that connection. An order needs someone who bought that order. Hopefully that's kind of making sense. So yeah, just keep in mind parent-child relationships. I'm not trying to repeat myself, but I'm trying to repeat myself so you get this drilled in your brain. Foreign key goes on the child, primary key goes on the parent. And soon we'll be talking more in depth about keys. So just for now, memorize primary key and foreign key. Primary is the user ID. The foreign key is a reference to that user ID. It's in a foreign table and it points back to the original table. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you for listening to me ramble and I will see you in the next video. Peace and subscribe.